Welcome back everybody, Kenny Smyson has returned. Yes, it's been about a year and a half or so since I did a Fallout 76 video. And uh, I am back with Starfield. I've been enjoying the game a lot over the past um, month or so since its release. And just kind of enjoying it as a player before I started making content for you guys. And on that note, what kind of content am I going to be putting out for you? Uh, I think it's going to be pretty obvious I'm going to be doing some ship builds for you guys. As well as, uh, I'm going to do like a quick tips uh, series where uh, each of the videos will be less than one minute. Just focusing on a quick little tip because there's quite a few little things that uh, are useful to know both from a gameplay perspective as well as uh, construction, uh, exploring, surveying, and whatnot. And so most of my ship build videos I'll actually show you the construction of the ship as I'm doing it so those videos might be a little bit longer um, but this ship was pretty much already done and I don't want to exactly disassemble it um, in order to, to show it to you so we're just gonna do a tour of it here and this is the second ship that I um, or technically the first ship I built after the frontier that I that we all got uh, this ship went through a few different variations It kinda got a little bigger than I originally intended um, but it's going along with my space trucker uh, character, space trucker theme. And on that on that note, I'm actually kind of role playing myself in the game as best I can under the circumstances. So it's been a lot of fun just kind of making decisions that I would personally make uh, in the context of this world and adventuring in space. Um, and so this is definitely um, uh, a pride and joy for me to be able to put out something like this in the game that goes along with my character so well. And I see a lot of people kind of doubting themselves when they're building their ships and guys you, you can't do that uh, <laughs> because it, it doesn't take a lot I mean look this thing it looks good but admittedly it's a flying brick um, but it, it's it's a little attention to detail that you have to make note of you know like uh, being creative with the, the radiators uh, you know, on the, the sides of my ship those are actually uh, they look a lot like solar panels so that's why I use those um, with this ship design, I wanted it to have a mildly asymmetrical look to it because the thought process is, well, you know, they're going to be unloading the cargo containers, you know, off the side. So have this nothing but cargo on the one side. Um, you know, you're going to want to factor uh, placement of uh, things like the laser beams up top almost kind of gives it more of a, like a headlight kind of look to it. So just kind of think of little things like that when you're building your ship. Um, I rarely ever like to leave um, a spot on my ship without something on it. So, for example, um, you know, I've got the windows across the entire top. I've got, uh, you know, on, on the sides of the ship, of course, those radiators, you know, kind of posing the solar panels and the my guns and my missiles on the back there. Another little, like, attention to detail, for example, this ship has a side docker and a side bay. Um, now I put the docker on the one side here because if you think about it, if you're out in space and you get disabled and somebody's trying to board your ship, you're going to want to see through the windows what's happening. Um, and so that's kind of why I put the docker on that side, although you know functionally it doesn't matter, but that's just kind of an aesthetic choice that I went with. Uh, this ship here is pretty much all Stroud Eklund as much as I could, at least as far as the habitats, the cockpit, um, so on and so forth. Um, and most of the structural stuff, the bay, the docker, that's all Stroud uh, Eklund, which I think that probably, of all the five manufacturers, the Stroud Eklund stuff does look the best for the um, uh, kind of like a, an industrial looking ship. Um, and so I will put the entire parts list uh, for the ship in the description of this video. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and uh, go through a tour on the inside. As you can see, it's got a nice, imposing presence. I just love the look of this ship. So in the Ooh. bottom center Always here... Always a satisfying moment. I, am, I used the 2x2 Stroud Eklund cargo container. Hello. And I have windows in every single floor spot I could put in the downstairs here. Stroud Eklund container, I like how it's got the one storage container here on the right, and just lots of, um, lots of good clutter. I love my clutter in my spaceship. And of course this is my docker over here on the side. And now going 
through this door. Oh, thank you, Andrea, for opening the door for me. We're going to head into my workshop, which makes sense to have the workshop right down next to the storage bay. And then over here we've got the infirmary. But you know, you don't want your uh, you don't want your uh, injured people having to go up a flight of or a ladder, right? You got to keep them downstairs. The only downside was not having a window for them to look out the side of the ship, but they at least have the, the windows on the floor they can look out of. All right, now we're gonna head up to level two here, and we're gonna be appearing right here. This is in a one by one. Um, is this the storage way? Yeah, this is the storage way. The companion way will have things more like canisters and oxygen looking tanks. The storage will have your uh, tubs and stuff like that, so keep that in mind. So I love my windows, but you gotta be careful because you put your windows up and you might lose uh, lose some cool stuff on your walls. And so we're gonna go ahead and go, actually we're gonna go this way to the rear here. This is where the armory is. Oh, sorry, this is... <laughs> Got. Uh, I fun fact. I had to reverse this entire ship. Originally, I had uh, all the cargo on the other side because you know I'm American, so the driver is on the left side of the vehicle. But because of the way the windows re were removing things on the inside of the uh, the habitats, I changed it up. Uh, so now I'm uh, driving a European car. Anyways, uh, so this is the three by one Stroud Eklund all in one sleeper, and uh, so I've kept the shower there. Course. Didn't want to put a window there and lose that beautiful thing. Got your beds. Got a, did, did put a window here because I'm trying to remember exactly what was here, but it was, I think, just some basic storage and some struts. So it wasn't too something I was too concerned about. And up here we've got the window there, straight out the front, so that way, you know, players or people riding on the ship can uh, see where we're headed to. And then, of course, the cockpit right above. I love the Stroud Eklund. Uh, it's got it definitely just has a space trucker feel to it. This cockpit. There's a much larger one that I'm looking forward to putting to use uh, on an even bigger freighter later down the line. Alrighty, yeah. So you got your galley right here. Yeah, see this right here. This is kind of what was like on the other side, basically. So it didn't bother me to get rid of that. And some beds and some storage. So as we head towards the rear of the ship now, we're going to be in the armory. So I think most of you have probably seen the armory. No big deal. Got your gun, gun racks and whatnot. I haven't put anything there just yet, but I'm going to window back here. All right, now we're going to go up to the top deck here. If you can this jump, you can get it. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and head to the back here. This is a 2x1 uh, living quarters. Did opt to put the window in the back. I lost a couple small TVs here, um, but I, I, I prefer to have this one because you, know, you get the whole kind of kitchen set up here with that one at least. Uh, now, fun fact: when I had the ship uh, the other way around, where this was on the front left corner of it, this table, when I put the window there, the table stayed with this one chair, uh, but it got rid of that one. But it was nice to see that at least something did stay because it's really frustrating how oftentimes things that shouldn't disappear at all will disappear when you put a window up. Um, like it makes sense, all of that junk would go, but the table should stay there, and that one did. Uh, so now we're going to head up to the captain's quarters. I, I really like putting the windows in all of the stairwells, uh, or ladders, I mean. Kind of loses a lot of your storage kind of decoration when you have two doors and a, a window like that, but you know. And the, they're just passageways. Alright, and now we're in our captain's quarters. So here we've got our locker and shower, we've got our table. Now, and I'm trying to remember what I lost over here. I think it might have been a screen or something, but it's much better to have, I think, this bench to kind of rest at. And that's a tour of the ship, you know, and the general idea to this ship is that it's it's meant to be a well-crewed ship for you know, high security cargo running. Um, and I've had a lot of fun with this ship. I think the, let's see, the cargo capacity on this ship it's pretty substantial. Yeah, 3,475. And 
Yep, so I do hope you guys enjoyed viewing this ship, and uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to send off in the comments below, and I will uh, see you out in the stars. Take care, everybody. <laughs>